Well, Michigan lawmakers pushing Governor Whitmer to make changes to our state's unemployment insurance agency after many have waited more than 10 weeks now for their payments. As Fox 17 problem solver Ryan Cummings explains, one lawmaker is even asking for UIA leadership to be replaced. We got to get people help today because, I mean, that's why we're here. And um, if we can't help them, then, you know, I don't know what we're doing here. Lawmakers once again holding a joint meeting on the COVID-19 pandemic. Thursday's topic, unemployment. Those having issues shared their stories. When you try to log in as an employer, it's, uh, it refers you to a phone number to call to help. Well, when you call the phone number, as you've heard before from many other people, um, nobody answers. We have both emailed, faxed, sent through snail mail to the office. And the biggest thing is we get nothing back. Representative Sarah Cambenzi, a Democrat from Marquette, was the first lawmaker to speak. Half of the cases my staff are seeing could be easily resolved. Um, we're talking a, a two to five minute conversation if they could just get through to someone at the UIA office, if they could just say, you know what, this is what I did. This is what I need fixed. I'm good to go. No other questions. Last week, she wrote this letter to Governor Whitmer, co-signed with bipartisan support. She writes after three months of helping the UIA, the burden should now be shifted off legislative staff. And just like the Secretary of State's office, the UIA should reopen its satellite locations around the state, even if it's by appointment only. If we think about what it would be like to go without pay for three months, I don't think any of us would stand for it. There's still no response from the UIA on a timeline to fix all of these claims. How much longer people will have to wait. Why they cannot get a response on the phone or on their MyWAM accounts. And most importantly, when will hundreds of thousands finally get paid? The person on the other end of the line said, listen to this. And they dropped coins on the table and they said, this is my last six cents. I don't know what I'm going to do. The problem is getting so bad, Representative Luke Meerman of Ottawa County is asking for change in UIA leadership. He, too, wrote a letter to the governor on June 4th saying those in charge of the agency should be removed and replaced. It's not my seat. It's the people of the 88th seat. I need to stand up for them. And we have people that don't have unemployment since March. And when I saw it go from bad to worse, when I saw that timeline continue to increase, I thought I've got to say something. We've got to try to change the paradigm here. Just last week, Fox 17 put this call out on Facebook asking for people who are waiting for at least 10 weeks of payments. It had more than a thousand shares. And with their permission, we have now forwarded more than 700 claims to the UIA. The agency's leadership team and roughly 50 lawmakers all know about it. They're just desperate to talk to somebody. I just think it's completely unacceptable um, that we've gone on this long. So if you have emailed us about your claim being more than 10 weeks overdue and made our Sunday night at midnight deadline, first of all, thank you. Thank you for sending in your name and your claim and trusting us with that information. Just know that we are doing our best to get you help, but we will not be getting individual responses for each of those accounts. So just stay tuned to your MyWAM account. Those claims, though, are now in the hands of UIA leaders. The UIA director, Steve Gray, will be testifying again in front of lawmakers on Wednesday. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Ryan Cummings, Fox 17 News. All right, Ryan, good work. Thank you.